What it do, YouTube? It's your boy CEO Shots, aka Sneaker Hype Hustle, back at you again with another video. This time I'm going to be showing you how to legit check a pair of zebras. Before we get started with that, of course, let me go ahead and show you my receipt. Straight from StockX, easy zebra size 12. We're going to start off with the sticker. Right here where you see your style code, CP9654. When your, if your C is not lined up directly in the middle right here where this B is on the boost, see how it's lined up almost directly in the middle. If it's not like that, most likely you have a fake pair. Sometimes the fakes come with the C, you know, further on, on this side or this four kind of further over here, almost where this gap is between the boost and the 350 up here. If it's like that, most likely is a fake. Now down here where you see your uh, UPC, PO number 11639-7052. Some people say that when you see a EAN, that means it's a fake. That is not true. What that EAN means is that it's a foreign bought purchase, meaning um, maybe overseas or something like that. And if your sticker has that, most likely you won't have a big 12. You would have more boxes like this, small boxes where the 46 and the 11 is. So you have one here, one here, and like four more up here, and then your 12 will be like real smaller. And that's on the EAN boxes. So that doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean that it's fake. That just means that it's a um, foreign bought purchase. So um, so the main thing you want to look at as far as the sticker is. If your style code lines up with these with this B right here on the, where the C is and then the B on the boost and your little guy right here um, on all real pairs that guy is always proportioned he's centered he's proportions meaning um, the arms are same length and legs are same length and he has a gap between where his head meets the body it is not supposed to be touching if it's touching that means it's a fake Moving right along to the shoes now, um, right here in the heel tabs, you want to make sure that your heel tabs are not sticking too far out. As you can see that the heel tab is pretty tight where you can barely get a finger off in there. Same thing with the other pair. Sometimes on the fake, the heel tab can be way out here and just looking crazy and poking off too far. If it's like that, most likely it's a fake. Now. Now, all sizes are different. Smaller sizes may have a further or more space in between the actual heel tab and the shoe, and that's okay. But that's also a uh, kind of a red flag. Moving right along, right here where you see this stripe right here, this stripe is supposed to go down and touch this uh, midsole. Same as it does on this pair back here. On the fakes, this stripe doesn't come down and touch the midsole. Some kind, some kind of way um, that the fakes are made is that they, the fabric doesn't come f down far enough, meaning this stripe right here isn't touching the midsole, it's kind of further up. And that's how you can kind of tell whether it's a fake or not. On the front of a shoe, the stripes that come toward the toe box, on the fakes, sometimes the stripe stops further back on the toe box. But as you can see on these authentic pairs, that the stripe come up closer to the, the front or the toe box, where it's almost touching the front of the uh, midsole. So that's another way you can check to see if you have a legit pair or not. If it's far back, that's another red flag. But like I say, different sizes are different. So if you have a smaller size, maybe it stops further back. This is just ways to tell, to compare the real versus the fakes. As far as the uh, upper goes on the outside, you have two stripes on the zebras. You have one with the Supply 350 or St. Pablo Loves You 350. And then you have another stripe right underneath that's touching. And that's actually supposed to be an off-white or a cream color. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but I can try for you. So if you look closely, you see that the top line or the type or the top stripe 
is white and then the bottom stripe is cream or off-white that's another way to tell whether you have a legit pair or a fake where you see the supply 350 or the saint pablo loves you on a real pair if you look hard enough or if you look closely you should be able to see the red in between those little holes back there and if you look you can see that there's actually a red patch right here and it goes all the way around right there so if you look you can see like a red patch sewn behind it if you can't see that red behind the letters most likely it's a fake and also your letters aren't supposed to be too bubbly too bulky it's supposed to be a nice even amount of space in between and the mirror effect meaning it looks like it's written backwards but if you look in the mirror at it it's it's straightforward so that's kind of a twist that they put on it kind of like that now as far as the boost go it's going to be kind of hard to show you because of course i use the soul shields um on my pairs that i get from rejuvenator for about 25 dollars so as far as the boost goes you're going to have these little uh nipples or paws or whatever you want to call them right here so it's going to be one two three four five six seven got to have seven on them and um when you press down on them it's not going to be too hard neither is, is it going to be too soft you, you should be able to press in slightly that's a, a good sign that you have a weird, real pair um you should be able to feel the bumps on the fake it has kind of a flat and it's kind of tough you can't really push it in like it, like you can on a real pair um and also it's hard for the face to get the fakes to get this down pack but if you look hard you can see like maybe look like empty spaces or missing boosts those are the little gaps that come in real boosts right there I don't know if you can see oh, one right there one over here so if your pair doesn't have that again you can see right there right here over here Now, if your pair isn't showing that, most likely you have a fake. All right, that's going to wrap it up, guys. This is just a quick reference video. If you're in the market trying to get you a pair of Yeezy Zebras and you want to make sure that you have a legit pair or not, you can definitely come back to this video and check it out just to see if, just to do some comparison, just to make sure that you have a legit pair or not. So let me know down in the comment section, guys, if this video was very helpful. Let me know if I could cover more things in another video or if anything that I've missed in this video that you know about real or fake. Drop it down in the comment section. Sneaker Hype Hustle. I'm signing out.